If you are building your Weebly website from scratch and you don't already currently have a website, you don't really have to worry about 301 redirects because you don't have any links to redirect. But if you're redesigning your site, you're building a new one in Weebly and you already have an old website and you're basically updating it to this new one, you're going to have to redirect your old links to this new website because this new website will very likely not have the exact same titles and names for their links as your old website. And this is important because once you do this, when you, when you publish this new website, if you don't redirect your old links to this new website, um, people are gonna end up going to those old links and they're gonna get to a dead end. And they're gonna get this ugly 404 page. And as a result, Google is gonna start punishing you for that. It's actually gonna start damaging your search engine rankings and all that SEO work you put into it. So we definitely don't want that. So if you're building a new site in Weebly and you want to convert or move your old links from your old website to this new website in Weebly, you have to do some 301 redirects. And I'll show you how to do that. So you just go to settings at the top. On the left-hand side, you see SEO. You click that and you scroll all the way to the bottom and you have a section here called 301 redirects. So let's say my, I'll give you an example of what that is. So my old website has a link that's rapidwebmunch.com slash cool beans, okay? Now my new website is still gonna be rapidwebmunch.com, but on my new website, let's say I put a little more work into optimizing for keywords and I decide that more people are searching for beans are cool, so I make the link called beans are cool instead. That's fine, but that means all those people that are going to the old link that said cool beans are now going to be stuck. They're going to end up at a, a what's called a 404 page, which is basically a dead end saying, hey, there's nothing here anymore. So what we want is that for the old link called cool beans to be redirected automatically to this new one called beans are cool. So to do that, we would basically click add redirect. And instead of putting the whole domain, Weebly just wants you to put the name of after the forward slash. So it'd be rapidwebmunch.com slash cool beans. So we'll just put slash cool beans. And then Weebly makes it really easy. You don't actually have to type in the new URL. You can actually just select the page that it's located at. So let's say my services page is the one that's called beans are cool. We're gonna select that and click save. And it's as simple as that. Now, whenever people go to the old link, rapidwebmunch.com slash cool beans, they will be redirected to the new page, the services page that is called rapidwebmunch.com slash beans are cool. And just like that, you've done your own 301 redirect. So this is again, very important uh, if you're redirecting from an old website because you wanna maintain all of that search engine juice that you've worked hard to, to build up over the years and uh, avoid Google punishing you for having dead ends on your website. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have uh, any questions or need some help, feel free to shoot me an email or find me on Twitter or something. Ciao.